In this course, we're going to build an e-commerce website that you can deploy and use for your business to start selling online. Now this is a real world application, but you can also use this as a great portfolio project that will help you get a job in the industry. The purpose of this course is not only for me to teach you how to build this project, but it's also for me to help level up your skill set and take your career to the next level. That's because I'm going to be covering both the basic and advanced topics around the React ecosystem that we'll be using in this course. Now on the front end, that's React, Redux, Redux Saga, GraphQL. We're going to be using Firebase as our backend as a service. We will also be using other libraries along the way like Material UI. And we're going to be integrating with third parties like Stripe's Payments API to allow users to check out within our website. I have developed this course into 24 individual video tutorials that you'll be able to find on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash simple tut. I'll also be sharing a link to this playlist within the description of this video. But you can also visit my website, which is simpletut.com, where you'll be able to find this course and enroll for free. Now, the difference between watching it on YouTube and my website is that on my website, you'll be able to create your own personal account and track your progress as you move through the course. Now, I've also published this project on my GitHub page, which again, you'll be able to find a link to in the description of this video. By the end of this course, you are going to be a Firebase expert. That's because we will cover everything from the Cloud Firestore to the real-time database to implementing Firebase or authentication using email and password or social logins to customizing your email templates. And we're going to deploy our website using Firebase hosting and Firebase functions. I'm now going to take you through the website and show you the different pages, features and functionality that we'll be working on throughout this series. So this is the home page, and as you can see, it's a full screen layout. Uh, we have our header and footer. Within our header, we have our logo, we have our main navigation and some call to actions on the far right. Now, when you're signed into the application, you're prompted to either log, or log in or register. And when you are signed in, you're given a link to either your account dashboard or to log out, as well as a link to their cart. Um, now, as you can see here, in your main header hero section, you have uh, two links uh, to either shop for women's or men's. And you can customize the categories for your products on the site very easily. And again, I show you how to do that during the tutorials. So let's go ahead and click through to uh, the product search page. And as you can see here, uh, we have a three column layout. Each product has a product title and a price and an add to cart button. Um, you're also, you also have pagination, which is actually infinite scroll. And what that means is rather than going through page one, two, three, you simply click on load more and it loads more products um, to your results page, uh, as you can see. You can also filter products. So if I select a different category, so for example, women's products, you'll see those here. And I can likewise do the same for men, or I could just show all the products that are available. Uh, and again, you can customize the categories of products very easily just by extending the functionality that we write in these tutorials. Now you can click through on any one of these products and you'll be taken to the product details page. On this page, again, you have the main product image, the price, an add to cart button, and a descript uh, and an information area. And all of this is manageable through the admin backend that I'll be showing you in just a second. Now at any time, I can click on the add to cart button and that will add that item to my cart. And as you can see, this is my cart page. So here we have our product uh, description, quantity, price, and a link to remove the item. I can also adjust the quantity very easily. And when I do, you'll see that the total uh, also updates. 
I can also click on continue shopping and that's going to take me back to the previous page that I came from. And again, I can visit that cart again easily by just clicking on uh, my cart link at, within the header. I can also add products both from um, the, the details page as well as on the results page. So as you can see, I'm able to do both. And I'm also able to just remove items from my cart as and when I, I wish to do so. Now, when it comes to signing into the application or signing up, of course, you can click through to the registration page. Uh, on here, you're asked to enter your full name, email, password, and confirm password. You can modify this and add uh, additional fields if you want to. Again, I'll cover all of this within the tutorials. And of course, when you're asked to sign into the application, we just ask for an email and password. Um, we also have the option to sign in with your Google account. And again, this is the social logins that I was talking about previously. Now we also have the password reset functionality. So if you, so users are able to uh, reset the password on their account. But what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and sign in to a test account that I've created. Once you've signed in, you're, you're redirected back to the home page. Now I've signed into an admin account. Now the difference here is that if the user that is currently signed into the application is an admin, they're going to see this black bar at the very top of the page. Now, if they click on that, it's going to take them to their admin. So there's a my admin link here. And what an admin is going to be able to do is actually uh, manage products. So you'll be easily able to add new products. Uh, through the admin backend that we build into the application. So they can both add and remove products uh, easily within the website itself. Okay, so I've come back over to the front end of the website and into my cart so that I can show you how we've integrated with Stripe's payments API and how the checkout process looks. So let's go ahead and click on checkout and I'm immediately prompted to enter my shipping, billing, and card details. Okay, so I've skipped ahead and I filled out the form. So let's come down to the bottom and click on pay now. And as you can see, once I have completed the checkout, I'm redirected to my account and my order history. And I can see all of the previous orders that I've made as well as the one I just made, where I can see the order number and all the details about the items that I purchased. You'll also notice that I've now cleared my cart automatically after I checked out. And finally, the last thing that I want to mention is that this site is completely responsive. So I can actually browse and use the site just as well as I did on desktop, on my mobile or tablet device. And that brings me to the end of this video where I just wanted to introduce you to the course, talk a little bit about some of the technology we'll be using as well as just demo the project to you. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Alternatively, you can use the contact form on my website if you want to reach me directly. Um, if you enjoyed this course, if you like the content that I'm making, please subscribe to my channel. You can also turn on the notifications to get updates whenever I release new videos.